Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawei. After two days of training, we finally have news on Alexander Jiku. He will take part in the third match day training, the third day of training for the Ghana Black Stars. So now today, the full complement of the squad of 26 players will be had. Alexander Juku had an injury concern uh, which he was being assessed on by his club and now we have an update on him that he will join the team. We'll get more details on the statement that was released by the FA. We'll also hear uh, from the FA president, uh, Kiati Ezokriku, uh, who has admonished the players to go all out for the Ghana Black Stars. As usual, subscribe if you have not and click on that notification bell to get more updates. Last night, Real Madrid won their 15th Champions League crown. An amazing achievement for such a huge club. The president said they are thinking of the 16th as they stand there receiving the 15th. The hunger, the drive, the energy is never going to die at that club and the culture of the club, club heritage, football heritage is such an amazing one. Speaking of uh, football heritage, the Ghana Black Stars are preparing uh, for our important World Cup qualifier versus Mali and Central African Republic. And yesterday I reported to you that Osman Bukhari had joined the Black Stars camp. He was the latest to join the team in there. And uh, it was great to see him uh, come into the fold finally after uh, finishing his signing for Austin FC from Red Star Ball Green. The lowly player that was left was our main player he's a very very important player for the black stars alexander jiku jiku had not yet reported and the fa last night released a statement uh, stating that otoado had been handed a boost uh, following uh, the arrival of alexander jiku the turkish based defender missed the first two days of training due to an injury on his arm now Jiku will join the rest of the squad for training at the University of Ghana Stadium on Sunday as part of the build-up to the two crucial games. The former Strasbourg player is a major part of Coach Otuado's side following top quality performances since his debut in October 2020. Jiku has made 27 appearances and scored two goals for Ghana. Great to have Alexander Juku back into the fold there. I'm excited to see him come in. Uh, we've not yet had pictures of him in the squad yet, but he has arrived in camp. And as and when uh, we get his pictures and videos of him training with the team, finally, we will have you get them and also watch them as well. Juku has been someone you guys have asked of in the comments box. I think Alexander Juku will be an amazing addition and uh, hopefully uh, he does uh, perform well for the Ghana Black Stars and help us uh, get over the line versus Mali. It's not going to be an easy game versus Mali. We saw how Nigeria struggled in that friendly game in March versus Mali. So it's going to be a tall order uh, for Ghana versus Mali and then Central Africa Republic. There are no easy sides now in football. Uh, so we'll see how things go on that front. But Jiku is in camp. He has arrived. He will train today, day three of training behind closed doors. And uh, the FA will announce when it is an open training session, according uh, to what I know so far. I think uh, yesterday's training session was behind closed doors. Today's on to will be behind closed doors since it has not been announced publicly. So uh, we'll keep our eyes peeled. I'm sure there'll be a press conference before they travel off into uh, Mali for that one there. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for that one. We'll hear from the Ghana Football Association uh, president, uh, Keti Esogrik, who he has admonished the boys to go all out. He welcomed them all back. Usually at this time, you should be on holidays. But when it is a national duty, you have to respond. And I'm very happy that all of you have responded positively to the call up. We began this World Cup journey some months ago. We've played two games and we all know the results. We won one and lost one. Fortunately, the journey didn't end with that defeat. We have another window to claw back some lost ground. The importance of these two assignments, I believe, is not lost on any, or any one of you. All you know. All of you know how important it is for us to get back on track. I trust you. The nation trusts all of you. The whole of Ghana is behind all of you. And it's important uh, we keep, stay 
keenly focused on the two games that lie ahead of us. I believe we will go to Mali with all the confidence and quality that we have and put up a good performance that will give us the desired results. If this is possible. After that, we come back to our beloved Kumasi and finish off the game versus Central African Republic. On behalf of the FEN Ghanaians, I wish all of us well. Let's train well and get ready for the trip to Mali, Bamako. And that was a statement there uh, by the Ghana Football Association President Ket E.S. Okriku, uh, encouraging the boys uh, uh, to get back on track and uh, get a win versus Mali and Central African Republic. Tall order uh, for the uh, Ghana Black Stars, but it is and uh, it is going to be an interesting one there. Latest news on goalkeeper uh, Frederick Asari. He has been recalled uh, by Kumasi Asante Kotoko uh, for their game versus Accra Great Olympics. He will join Kotoko uh, for the Afghan Premier League match day 32 fixture against Accra Great Olympics on Sunday following a request by the management of the porcupine warriors on saturday asari will travel to kumase for the league game on sunday and return to the black stars camp on monday the former accra lyle's short stopper is part of otuado's 26 man squad for the world cup qualifiers ghana will uh, begin their campaign on june 6th and june 10th so uh, goalkeeper frederick asari has been recalled by Kumasi Asante Kotoko for their all-important clash versus Accra Great Olympics. They need Asari in the fold. He will return to the squad on Monday. If I'm not mistaken, the boys will be traveling on Tuesday. That's June 4th. Whoa, not much time left. I think today is June 2nd. Tomorrow, June 3rd is Monday. And to uh, June 4th is Tuesday. I don't know if it's tomorrow's session that will be open. Uh, but it's going to be an interesting one there. Accra, uh, Accra Great Olympics versus Kumasi Asante Kotoko at the Babaira Sports Stadium is where Frederick Asari has been called back into the team for that clash there. Okay, we'll see how things go on that front. We follow in closely and see how Kumasi Asante Kotoko perform on that front. Uh, Osman Bukhari has arrived in the Black Stars camp. He trained with them on match day, on day two of training, as the boys prepare for that clash uh, versus Mali in Bamako. Also talking to you today about uh, Alexander Juku also joining the team. He will train today on the third day of training university of ghana sports stadium and also frederick asari recalled by uh, kumasi asante kotoko for their clash uh, versus Accra great olympics and uh, we've also heard from the fa president encouraging the boys to go all out ghanians are in support of them and they need that result i'll see you guys in the next one have a great weekend <laughs>